Hi guys, we are back with Grady from Sub Overland, and uh, in our last video we showed you one of his suburban builds. This time we have something a little bit different. He also will do custom van work. So if that's something you guys are interested in, you can go ahead and contact him. But this is a 2010 Chevy Express cargo van that he's building out for a client. It's not completely finished yet, but uh, we'll show you the bones of it. And uh, there's some interesting ideas here, and this is a good, I think, basic build that'll satisfy the needs for a lot of people. So uh, this client uh, that we're building this for, he originally was thinking about doing a Suburban and then he found a YouTube video about a van build that he liked and he sent it my way and he's like, can you do this? And I was like, sure. So here we are. We've got the van. I'm really familiar with these vans. I've spent way too many hours in vans. Um, I used to deliver FedEx and was a contractor. So this was the, actually the ex exact van that we used. Um, this is a 2010 Chevy Express cargo van. It's a three-quarter ton, regular length, um, really typical cargo van that we're going to make look. We're going to make it look cool. So this is a twin bed right here uh, on top of this platform, and then uh, and this isn't finished yet. We're still doing a lot of finish work and different uh, things, but uh, we still need to do an extension that goes across right here. And so you can have a separate piece of foam that extends it out to a fold. And then that foam will go back here for like a backrest when you're just in couch mode. Um, and so that's that set up. Uh, the storage, let's kind of lift up the mattress and grab those. And so that's what the storage is like. And this is the same thing on that side. And then the idea behind this build, um, this guy's uh, actually in college and he's going to be living out of this. And so this was a good height for, you know, laptop. Um, and then we're going to electrical so you can plug stuff in back here. But we're still finishing up. Um, you can put your cooktop right here. Um, you know, do whatever. You can prep food. This would just be a good uh, space. Um, and then this is just for storage similar cubby system that we do in our um, suburban builds. And then this thing is fully insulated um, and then walled with um, pine shiplap all around. And uh, there's also different electrical components to this. Like, just like our other builds, same um, you know switch for the recessed LED lights. And then uh, he requested a different fan that I've done before. This is a Max Air fan. They're a really common fan. And uh, this one is on, it's a little bit more fancy than what we usually do. So it's an automatic. Um, it automatically goes up and um, has a thermostat. And um, you know both directions, it just has it all. Um, it's a really cool, um, fan and a great design. I've actually really liked them. And then moving to the front, um, it's a really simple setup. We haven't, you know, strapped any of this down, but this will be kind of how it's going to look. Um, this is a really simple build. There's no plumbing. Uh, we don't have any propane or anything um, for cooking or a cooktop. Um, it's a really simple, just, you know, um, build just like our Suburbans, but in a bigger version. Um, we're using a Yeti 1000 by Goal Zero for all of the um, power. And then that same fridge that was found in um, our Suburbans, the CFX 28 from Dometic is used. The electrical, it's just lights, the fan, and then we'll have a 110 outlet from the inverter in the back to charge a laptop. And that's it, you know, the fridge is plugged in too, but really, really just easy design. So here's the roof set up here. We've got two Renogy um, solar panels. These are the compact design, and I really like these because um, they're a lot, they're not as wide <laughs> as, as the normal ones. And so they can, we can fit these in, in more places. Um, this is the Max Air fan right here. It's a little different design than, than the Dometic. Um, it doesn't have an actual lid. It just kind of cranks up. See that, that back end just kind of goes like that. So it's a, it's a different design. Um, and then up here, a uh, solar shower and the basket rack. And that's it.
And if you guys have any uh, questions about anything in this build, um, you know, like the fridge or the solar shower or any of those, just check out Tristan's other video. Um, it'll be more in depth of those details. So this particular van is a 2010 and it has really low miles. I think it has 70,000 miles. Um, so that's kind of the atypical, that this isn't a really, you know, a typical mileage in your range for what, what we do. Um, but, you know, this client wanted more, less miles and so we, we helped him out with that. Something like this, this van build, maybe like a 03 to 08, somewhere in that range of this type of cargo van with 170,000 miles. That would run you fully built out, probably around 16, 17 grand, somewhere in there. So they are more expensive than our uh, suburban models, but still really um, well priced. And you know, you get a lot more space is, is the big benefit of the van. Um, and you know, you've got all the space, it's easier to live out of for some people, um, but the four wheel drive aspect, this is a two wheel drive van, two wheel rear, rear wheel drive. You can get to a lot of places with these, with how we set them up with our, our new all-terrain tires and stuff. Um, but the four-wheel drive aspect is something that some people just have to have. If you guys want to learn more about uh, how you can get a van like this or have any comments on um, anything that we've gone over today, feel free to leave them. And uh, again, our website is subover.com. We do a bunch on Instagram. Just search Suboverland in Google and you'll find us. So you guys have a good one. Be sure to check out Adventure Know How, my new site, where you can gain access to a map of all of my free campsites, plus monthly bonus videos that you won't find anywhere else. Learn more at adventureknowhow.com. And for links to everything else SUV RVing related, visit suvrving.com. Links to these sites and more will be in the video description.